Okay, so I'm going to create the saddle bracket. So let's go here to our new, and this is in, always want to verify, this is in inches, okay? And so I'm not really gonna worry about um, the snap settings. I'm, I'm not gonna really use it. Uh, but what I'm gonna do is I wanna make sure I have my layers and I'm gonna be adding layers. So first thing I'm gonna do is I, I need to figure out, you know, looking at this, I'm gonna draw this as a front view, um, and which is gonna be coming from this angle, from the left looking at it, top view, and then on the right side. So, but I, I, I'm gonna make this my zero, zero. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna type in layer. And so I'll go ahead and I already have it open here, but let's just go ahead and just start from scratch here. So I'll go ahead and just type in, uh, type in layer. And then there it is. And I'm gonna make some layers here. So if I just hover over it, you'll see new layer. So I'll make a new layer. This one's gonna be construction. All right, I'm not the best speller. And I, I can just leave this all default as it is for now. Um, I'm not sure if my textbook has us do construction as another color, but I think it is okay to leave it as white. Um, because it actually prints black. Let's do another one here. Uh, make sure I'm doing what the book would suggest you do. So we'll make another one. You could call it part or let's call it object, I think is what the, the book is calling it, object. Uh, and so the nice thing about layers is that if you notice here, I can change the color and that uh, before I would have to do it in my properties. I can also change the line weight right here. So I'll make this one at my, uh, for example, 0.50 is, usually what it works. Uh, and then that's good. Um, the line type I can keep. And let's do let's do a couple more. Let's do one that's my hidden line because uh, I'm going to show some hidden lines. And so with that, then I would go here. Now this one, I don't want white. I don't want that color. I'll just uh, do the uh, default. Um, and then I'll go um, default. Okay, and then I'll go uh, line type. This one we said was hidden lines. So I'll load a hidden line. Okay, so that says hidden. Uh, what color do I really want here? Uh, okay, so hang on real quick. Okay, so, uh, and, and then for kicks, let's make another one. We'll call it uh, center. All right, and I've done this a couple of times. So I know that the center line is a little problematic in this scale. So what I'll do is I'll go line type, load, and I'm gonna say center line. And there's a couple different ones I wanna do. I'm gonna do the one, 0.5. It just, it, it fits better because sometimes you don't see it until you actually uh, put it on there. All right, so cancel, so okay. So they were probably good here. Uh, oh, that should be center line, sorry, center. Okay, all right, so that's enough. Now, what you wanna do is you wanna click the mouse on what you're gonna be working on. So I wanna do the construction first. So I wanna make that my set current or my active layer, all right? And so you'll see on the left on my properties, it's there so I can minimize this. And so what, what I'll go ahead and do then is I'll just start making my, uh, my construction line. So I'm looking at this drawing and so this is going to be on the, um, this is going to be my zero, zero here on the left. So what I do is I, I go draw and I'm going to select this construction line. And then what I want to do is um, I want to select horizontal on my, my bar here. And I'm just going to type zero comma zero enter. All right. And then what I want to do is I'm going to make a vertical one. So I'll do the exact same thing. Uh, construction line, horizontal, and then this one's going to, oh, wrong one, sorry, construction line, this one's going to be vertical, so select vertical, and I'll go zero comma zero, all right, and so uh, scale, we don't really know what it is here, but that's going to be my left and my right on my x and my y, so what I can do is, uh, just looking at this drawing, let's say I'm going from left to right on my vertical lines, instead of doing that again, what I would do is just type in offset, and then uh, the distance I wanna go, I'm just measuring this. I know that it's 0.5 over, so I'll say 0.5, enter, select the object. 
for the direction I want to go to the right. And there it is. All right. And so then I'm going to do another one. This one will be, I know that two inches minus 1.5.5, uh, that's a one inch gap there. So I'll just very quickly, uh, distance is going to be one, enter the line to offset, put it again. And I'm just going to keep entering, uh, just hitting enter because it's going to do the last command. Uh, all right. And then this one, if I, then the next line is 3.25 over. So the easiest thing to do is just go from that zero, zero. So, uh, so I'll select the object. The distance is going to be 3.25. That's actually going to be where the center of that circle is. <clears throat> and then um, I know that the radius is half of 2.5. So 3.25. So all I need to do is say uh, offset again. Um, the distance is going to be 1.25. And select this line here. All right, now I'll go, go the horizontal and I'm, I'm taking a little bit longer than I probably would because I'm just uh, giving a demo at the same time. And so I'll just go up from the bottom, 0.5, enter. Uh, again, uh, the, the next one is uh, 0.75. And that's from the bottom up. And then the next one is 1.75 from the bottom. So select the line, come up here, one point. Seven five. I think that's it for this one. And so the nice thing is that I'm ready to draw the part. So I'll just go here. I'll select my object and I'll make this my my current. And because it should be blue and thick already, it should just go ahead and work. So then I just go to my line tool and I'm starting at my zero zero. I can type in zero zero if I want. And then I'm just going to come up and I'm just following the construction lines that I've made. And this comes down, comes over. I'm just snapping it onto the grid and over. And then this one comes down and it actually comes all the way here. I should probably add another layer for, for uh, dimensions. So um, that's good. So what I can do though, is just to verify, I turn the construction line off and it should go away. And you'll just see the part, oh, I missed one. So um, there it is, and, and that's actually most of it. Now, the next thing I'll do is, uh, let's just type in zero, zero. It's, it's having a tough time going to that. All right, come on. It doesn't want, I feel like I just need to move this temporarily. So let me just move the Cartesian coordinate. Come on, Cartesian coordinate. So what I would do is turn this layer off. All right. And then let's just move this out of my way because it's not being very nice to me. Oh, come on. All right. So, um, all right. So let's just keep going through here. Uh, let's draw the uh, hidden line here. Four point five. All right, so um, other thing I might wanna do is, is um, let's go ahead and, and make a, another layer and we'll call this one uh, dimensions. And I don't want this to be blue, I want this to be uh, my white color. And then I want this to be, uh, I could change this to my uh, default, and then I'll make this my current layer. And then I'm just gonna do some quick dimensions on my construction lines here, just to verify. So let's turn my uh, construction line on. <clears throat> All right. So I, I should be good to go and I'll go my dimension. So I'm just gonna do the basic dimensions that I see on my drawing. I should have probably done this first to verify everything. All 
Okay, uh, and so let's go ahead then and let's turn on, let's make our, uh, our um, headlines. We'll make this one current. I'll, I'll put my headlines on there. So current, all right. You know, I, I'm making this a little bit harder than I need to be with this, this uh, layer properties. What I should probably do is just move this thing over here, uh, down there. Uh, it's just kind of in the way. All right, so uh, let's go ahead now. And um, yeah, so we wanna do the, what did we say? We wanna do the hidden lines. So the hidden lines, uh, I should probably put that in the construction line. Uh, the line's going to be, yeah, so let's let's make that kind of working backwards here. So the construction line, I'll make this my current layer. And so the diameter of that hole is one inch. So I'll go ahead and uh, say offset. And I'll type in 0.5 and enter again. And so I'll have my uh, my hidden lines. Those are gonna be those lines. It seems like a lot of work, but when I start doing the top view, it makes it a lot easier because I know exactly where it is. So then my my uh, hidden lines will be here. Now it should just automatically be a hidden line when it draws. When I turn that layer off. All right, and you know, and let's put the let's go and put the center line in there too. While we're here. And so the center line would go and let's just turn the construction lines off to verify what's going on. Okay, so you can see what we've done here. So, all right, so now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and make the, the top view, right? And so this is where it, it, you save a lot of time. So what I'm gonna do is um, I wanna make a top view of this drawing um, and so, Let's see the best way to do this. Um, I think I showed you the, the group on what really is happening with the, uh, um, you know, with, with the orthographic drawing, you're gonna see something like, we're gonna make it look like this, which is, you know, we're looking at 3D picture. Here's the front view, the side view, the top view. So the top view next. Uh, sometimes it might help for people to see, kind of put that in, in relationship to a car maybe. So here is a car. It's a little different orientation here, but it's the same concept. Right side, top side, front side. Really important to notice that your width of the car from left to right is the same from the top view as the front, as the length of the car is gonna be the same from the, the side view and the top view. So that's essentially what you're doing uh, when, we're, when we're doing these drawings here. So um, I'm going to just go ahead. And so uh, students have asked me before, like, why am I gonna do this as two inches? The reason being that um, we want to show the distance between the two. And so you can, um, you can go ahead then and be able to dimension it. So what I'll do is I'm gonna make a, a space above the construction line. So what I'll do, and you know, I don't even have to be in that layer. It should uh, stay in that layer. I'm gonna select uh, two inches for the offset. Uh, I'm gonna go here, uh, let's do that again. And I'll say two. Let's do that again, sorry. I need to click it and then I'll do two for this one too. And then uh, the width of this. So what I could do is just real quickly, let's offset this one again. And this one is going to be at 2.5. And then this one will also be at 2.5. So this is gonna be the, the side view. All right, and so you should notice that you'll actually have a 45 degree uh, angle here. And so uh, let's go ahead and take this line and we'll put it into the uh, construction line. All right, so we'll be using that too. All right, so now <coughs> I'll go ahead and uh, do the construction line for the top. So I know essentially I have three lines to do. There's the, this half inch, uh, there's just like three lines. So let's see, so I'll go ahead and type an offset. Go ahead and select this line here. This one's gonna be 0.5. Um, I could, while I'm at here, let's do another offset, 0.5. Uh, that's there. Now I'll just do the center one. So uh, the distance between, uh, I could, you know, multiple ways of doing it. It says it's 1.5. Um, we probably wanna verify that. 
So half of 1.5 is 0.75. That should be the center. Let's just measure this real quick. So let's go to our uh, layers. We'll say dimension, turn that on. And I'll just verify that real quick on my dimensions. There we go. 2.5, half an inch. All right, so that, that looks all good. All right, so now it's very easy then to draw that part. So what I'll do is I'll go here, I'll turn on my object. And let's just draw that part then, zoom in here. So I'm gonna draw the top of this. So there's multiple ways I could do it. I could go ahead and just take a rectangle tool. It might be fastest for these, these square pieces. And so construction line, come on construction. Make sure it's my active. Turn, my, let's see, hidden line. Oh, I'm in the wrong, sorry, was in the wrong one. So we wanna be an uh, object. Take my um, rectangle tool. Let's just draw these four real quick. There we go. So I don't really need to measure because it's already been measured. And I'll draw lines between these. So you notice using these layers, I don't have to really um, do much. And then this one goes to the center there. And then I need to draw a circle. So I can just see what I'm doing here. Let's turn the layers off and just verify the, the uh, construction lines. You can see I'm building this rather quickly here. So there's a couple more lines I need to build. Um, so I could do that now or, or then. So I just you wanna see what you're doing here. Um, yeah, that would be, Okay, so now I'll draw that circle, two circles. So I think what I'll do is I'll, I'll get that construction line back on. Um, that way I can easily draw to the center. So construction line, turn that on. I'm still an object and I'll go to circle, um, circle uh, radius. Let's, circle should be the center. It's right here. And there we go. And then I need to draw another circle inside. I'll turn that moment. So this one is a uh, circle and then the radius is going to be 0.5 or I could just snap it there. All right, and then let's turn the construction line off. And let's trim this. All right, so that should be it for my a uh, top view and my front view. Now I need to do the side view. So let's uh, make some more construction lines. So I'll go here and uh, go to construction, Turn make this my active layer. All right, and then what I will do is from the front view, which is uh, what you'll notice is the construction lines are gonna be identical. So all I have to do that, which is really nice about this, as I come down here to draw, um, and I can just offset these, right? So I'll just type an offset because actually they're already there. So I take this, uh, this, this line here and it's actually gonna snap right there. And I'll do the same to this one. It's gonna be my center line. And then I could do the same to this. And there is the front view, right? So believe it or not, now all I do is go to my uh, object line, make this my, my active line. And then I'm gonna draw the front view of this. So I go to my line and I think I just go all the way around it. Let's see, to there, over. And then I come down actually this far down, come over, up. And if you do this right, all you're doing is clicking to the intersections, all right? Now there's a hidden line back there, I know. 
Did I do that right? Oh, I got another line. I got I do have to make that line. So there's two lines, so we're good. Um, so there's a line here, right? That's that line up there. And then I need to draw this, the hidden line for the center. And then, um, oh, you know what? I missed one line, didn't I? So if you notice this line is 7.5 up. Oh, sneaky, sneaky. So let's draw a construction line. So I'll say um, offset. All right, take this line and I'll come down 0.75, let's see if that works. And that's actually the top of that line. They are tricky, tricky, all right? So that's good that I caught that. But the other one would be a hidden line, <clears throat> excuse me. So I think uh, now I can do is, I can turn the construction lines off, but you know what, I, I wanna, I'm gonna need this construction line to draw my hidden line. So let's go ahead and uh, do that. So I'll just say hidden line, I'll make this my active layer. All right, so hidden line is my active layer. So, oh, you know, I also need to draw the center line. So, um, okay, we'll, we'll, we'll kind of work simultaneously here. So I'll draw the line. This one is gonna be my uh, hidden line from here. I also need to do though the, uh, so you can turn it off and see what's going on here. Turn the construction line off. Uh, but if you notice, um, I, I, and this is, you know, this is live. I need to add the center line here. So what I'm gonna do, um, is offset. So I'll type an offset. So I don't have to go in and change the layers, of my construction line. I'm going to offset this and I could just snap it to it and then hit it again, offset and just snap it to it. And then do the same here, offset. And it should snap at that point. That's why this is such a nice way to do it. And that's going to be right there. And that's going to be this hidden line. So let's go Make sure I have my hidden line uh, active. I think I do. All right, so let's go make my hidden line here. Believe it or not, I'm almost done with this. Um, so that's going to be the center. I come over here, come down. All right. So this is much easier than trying to build this uh, from scratch. And now I'm going to do the center line. And I might be close to being done. Uh, center line, I'll make this my active. And then I'll draw a center line here. And all right, let's turn the construction line off and let's see how we did. All right, so um, if you remember the center line, let's make sure I have this right. Um, sometimes it's a little small. Let's see if I just drag this out a little bit. Yeah, you can see uh, there, there's probably a better one I could choose. It's got the two gaps in there, but that, that works. I think that's basically it for this drawing. Um, obviously you wanna verify everything. So the other thing I wanna do is just to mention, check my dimension on this, but I think we're good. So in theory here, if I was just verifying my dimensions, so what I do is come in here, uh, click dimensions, make that active. And then um, just let's just verify these dimensions real quick here. So uh, the width of this, should be 2.5, very good. Um, some of these dimensions here, uh, right? this should be 0.75, that's good. Um, let's just verify the center then. So because I did it, it was a construction line, oh, there's something off there. All right, something's off there, but that's okay. We can, we can uh, see what happened there. Um, Let's check a couple more. This is why you check. Um, so the diameter, you would typically, uh, let's just verify some of these radiuses. Okay. Okay, so just to verify a couple things, construction lines on here. So um, I just had to verify that. And so, you know, I have those construction lines. What, what you're gonna need to do is turn the construction line off. Um, because the construction line is going to help you build it, but you just kind of have to make sure you're, you're doing it right. So a couple of things I noticed, a couple of things I still need to do. Um, there should be a hidden line back here. So what I could do is uh, there's a line, it's actually this line extended over is where my hidden line would be. So what I'll do though, is I'll just turn on my construction line. I'm still in my object, which is fine. And I'll just draw that line. Actually, no, I want to 
be in my inline, inline on. And then I'm going to draw a line that is right here, from there to there, and from there to there. All right, turn the construction lines off. That's those hidden lines. Um, and so I think that is the crux of it. Um, I, uh, you believe it or not, you don't show when you dimension this. Um, okay, so I could put another, there's more dimensions I could put on here, but I think I have everything. I have the hole from the center, uh, from the front view and the side view. I've got the center line there. I think I've pretty much built it all, uh, but I'll go back in. So what I would do now is go into my construction or actually my dimensions, and I would just verify everything. So I would recommend you do that uh, before you start. Just, just go ahead and just verify all your dimensions. But if you did the construction lines correctly, um, everything should be good. So what I do recommend, and when I was doing this demo, I was doing it rather quickly, um, when you created those construction lines, rather than just snapping as I was doing, just go ahead and you know type an offset, um, and that's how you want would do. For example, the center line here that's 0.5 in, and if you notice a minute ago I was off by a little bit, and that's why because I was snapping very quickly. So um, you know turn your construction lines off, and then you should end up with a front view, top view, and side view uh, for this exercise. And so. Um, that is the end of the, um, of the exercise. And this one was the saddle bracket.